hello guys how are you doing guys welcome to my channel so we are looking at market updates and cryptocurrencies and what is going on in the crypto space all right so if you have not subscribed to this video to this channel guy please kindly subscribe <laughs> and please kindly like this video by clicking that like button and notification bell all right guys so yesterday we made a video explaining that you know this falling wedge has been completed okay so we took a buy we, we entered a buy position a long position here and now this we're already in profits and i believe some of you that watched the video early enough were able to take the profit so what's the market is doing now are we still going up because uh, we expected this falling wedge to at least get to the all-time high you know region before we see the next pattern so if you look at what the market is doing now in four hours there is no much data here so if we should go to um the hourly charts the one hour charts now it still looks a bit bullish all right it looks bullish so in the sense that this can be two things all right so there are many ways this can form but looking at it now um it's still more bullish okay but it can be more complex than this so there are many varieties on how this thing can form but the safest way you can enter this trade i will show you how to enter the trade to be safe and also what the market might be doing here all right so now one of the best best way to enter this trade now is to put have your entry order here okay and your entry order here so when the market has finished all this noise guys okay all this noise then it will not take you in and it goes because eventually something like this might happen in case now we expect if you expect this to be a running flat well it doesn't really fit in okay it doesn't really fit in to be a running flat so what we might be expecting here is markets correct itself correct itself it might be a correction before the next move so you now watch out for this correction in case this happens all right so which is not visible yet it's not visible so but that is a probability that that might happen retracing below this all right retracing below this because if you take a look of this the market has made what this is a uh, in the lowest frame one two three four five i believe you can see that clearly all right so there are at least if a market has made a five wave move up is expected to correct before the next wave okay so now you ask yourself is this all the correction of this five wave i think this correction is too small so that's why we might expect a 50 retracement or six one is retracement of this move before the next wave come but then definitely the next wave is coming so for you not to freak out of the market now based on what is happening now we might see a, 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 a pullback okay a pullback so for the market not to tag you and see pull back that's why positioning yourself at the end of this wave is the best thing you can do all right so because i will also want you guys to be profitable and that's why i'm telling you my strategies on how i will enter this trade yeah, okay and uh, although i'm still in the trade i'm not i'm not except when i see a pattern that i recognize i still believe the bullish side but one thing you should know that uh, based on what is going on now there might be a pullback which is likely to come right in the few hours from now okay so but in a nutshell if you look at bitcoin bitcoin we can you know as we expected the worst thing that can happen is this is a b c and there we go okay but in a long in a long run this coin is still very very bullish guys very very bullish so for investors don't touch that baby guy <laughs> i think this is feasible that bitcoin is going to be more way more than the current price all right no doubt about it no doubt about it but we are traders okay we trade what we see on the market so that's why in the short term just expect that slight pullback and there we go okay so I believe if we look at ethereum too let's see what's going on okay let's see that we we had this target guys you can see it's already it's already in our first target so the same thing we're expecting from bitcoin might happen in ethereum but ethereum one is more is more is more clear okay it's more clear that 
we might see a pullback at least to this point or downwards okay so these are these in my bounce off here in my bounce off here okay whichever one is acceptable it's in my bounce off from here in my bounce off from here so let's watch out for this so ethereum is expected to at least retest this low or stop at this level okay so that is what we're expecting from ethereum all right so yeah that's what we're expecting this is daily chart no much data this is hourly the four hour this is one hour so that's what we might be expecting from ethereum so for the market to but now if this resistance is cleared guys if this resistance is clear that is this resistance once you clear this resistance then and consolidate above it that tells us that you know market we is set to moon but as far as this chart is concerned it's still kind of uh not completed the corrective pattern so just just observe and wait guys so the next column is look at now let's look at the cardano cardano guys <laughs> i believe some of you guys are, are strong on this coin you see he has done he has not really done much based on what i'm expecting this coin to do this year okay so i think it's still very 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 bullish guy very bullish so don't touch this because everything is still showing green okay everything is still showing green this is this flag just completed everything is still showing green guys so what are we expecting from here we're expecting uh this is this is uh, the internal structure so everything is still green guys so the worst thing that can happen is to complete this wave one two three and there we go okay so it's still very much very very much bullish so cardano is very much bullish so uh just be hopeful that the best days are ahead of us all right so we look at the uh, litecoin if you look at litecoin now you see okay litecoin has it finished com the, the three wave down okay so from what we are seeing uh is this this might still be a corrective structure guys because the way it's going it might still be a corrective structure okay which will definitely come down before it goes okay so you know, you can see that Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin, they are having similarities. Probably most times that's how it happens, okay? They always have similarity. That, but looking at those three coins will give you a clear view on what actually will happen. So if you, are, if you see that Ethereum chart and Litecoin chart is more clear, it's more clear of this three-wave move that we might likely expect this pullback before the next wave. And after this pullback, guys, that is when the market is fully set for the next bull run. Okay? So after this pullback, market might be fully set for the next bull run. Now, these guys that nobody is talking about now, <laughs> every guy is freaking out. What is happening to Ripple, guys? <laughs> what is happening to Ripple? You know, many guys say the worst investment I had is investing in Ripple. Well, I don't believe so. I don't believe so. And Ripple has been the best investment, but just like, you know, it didn't, it didn't move the way we expected it to move. So there was a massive sell-off here and there because of the negative uh, lawsuits they had and all stuff like that. But irrespective of all these things, guys, so if you look at the market critically, you can still see there is hope from this market, okay? There is hope from this market. So how am I looking at it now? Okay, the way I'm looking at it now, let me show you. This is all time high so far. I think this this year, so since this bull run that was last year now. So the market corrected himself. You see that? So this is A B C. Okay. So now we have this coming up here. So two things you might be expecting. All right. If what if this stuff now becomes a flat, and from there that might be the the bull run or let me go down to four hours so we can see it clearly what might be happening okay what might be happening so if you look at it now from the four hours so you see that this market here has been broken so let's watch for consolidation here you want for consolidation here might be 
And you know, when, when Ripple wants to move, he always moves very aggressive. Okay, if he wants to move, always move very aggressive. And he keep moving sluggish, 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 and everybody will just uh, kind of, it's not going anywhere. And before you now see it's moving very, very aggressive. So just watch out. If you believe in Ripple, and I still believe in Ripple, I know that it will, it will take everybody for surprise and, you know, go to that big value very soon. So just be hopeful, guys. Be hopeful. So uh, this wave, this wave, corrective structure, this is A, B. So the same thing, it might, it might still come down one more, at least to break this low, okay? Or from, but once this low is broken, guy, you are 100% sure that the next move is coming. Okay, the next move is coming because contracting flat might be kind of confusing most times, except this low is broken or this high is broken. Okay, this low is broken or this high is broken. So that's where it becomes more clear. So, but irrespective of that, we are still hopeful that Ripple hasn't finished the bull run for the season. All right, so just kind of be aware of that. So this is a contracting floor is trying to form, but it's not completed yet. It's not visible yet, but we are hopeful that. So the way it's moving here, sluggish, 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 sluggish. So there might still be kind of one more down then. But just note something, guys. Once this low here is broken, okay, just be very, very certain that the next move for Ripple is here. The next move for Ripple is here. So that's one thing you guys should know. Now, there's something that uh, I told you guys last time that I just want to draw attention to. I made a call on this on this pay, this coin called HOT. That was when it was at this level, guy. You can see what it has what has come out of it. That's I don't even know where the, this holo, hot USD, holo USD. I don't even know. I don't even I have not even done any fundamental analysis on the. I just saw the the charts and it looks very beautiful. We got in somewhere here. We got in somewhere here, guys, and uh, that was it. We enjoy this massive move. And what is coming after now is just a little correction. I think the move is not over yet, guys. It's not over. It's not over. So you see, it has even. Is even trying to this is a b c so watch out guys watch out two things might happen this is just correction and there we go okay <laughs> so and there we go this is going to get everybody else uh, just after the video you can check it on my channel scroll down five five coins that will explode 10x this year you see this we made the analysis on this and there we go and it blow up. it blow off was a little let me check how many percent percentage profit from here, that from here, that was 200, okay, 200, 213 percent, that was massive guys, massive, within, within few days, three, five days, two, three, two, thirteen percent, that was massive, so guys, uh, if you have any coin that you want me to help you to look at, I'll be glad to help you, I'll be glad to look at those coins and uh, show you what we think and what will be happening, so, but I believe, Alt season is here, guys. Alt coin season is, is here. So this is a time for you to shop alt coins, so potential alt coin, to have them in your portfolios so that you won't miss out for this move that is coming because every bull, every market you're just correcting and they are most in their last phase of correction. So after this last phase of correction, then the market will have no other place to go than to the moon. All right, guys, I wish you the best. Please kindly subscribe to this channel, help us grow. Share this video with your friends because we do daily analysis of coins, of Bitcoin charts, and other cryptocurrency that we believe that will, will help your portfolio to see the, the moon. All right, so subscribe to this channel, guys. Share with your friends and see you in the next video.